Every local brewery makes its baseball themed beers. Today we're going to try some of those and give you the best stories of beer and baseball. Our 50 state beer journey is almost done. Today's forecast is dark and heavy. He's Lou Bryson. I'm Glenn Mack now. We're at Four Fingers Brewing in Aston for a new episode of What's Brewing. Welcome to What's Brewing, all new episode, along with my pal Lou Bryson, host of Seen Through a Glass podcast, great podcast about whiskey, beer, food, all those good stuff. I'm Glenn Mack now. We are at the Four Fingers Brewery in Aston, a uh, fun little place, owned, let me say a partner in it is, my pal Jack Fritz of 94 WIP, something he opened with his dad years ago. What are you drinking there, Jack? Well... I'm, I'm drinking a Jack Juice, and I don't know where they got the name from. <laughs> mm. Seems like a great idea, yeah. and it's, it's a little rip off of Ike. A so, little bit. So, so don't tell Ike, no. and we should be okay. We should be all right. Okay. This is the High Hops, <laughs> High Hops IPA, very crushable IPA, really good, very approachable. And Lou, what do you got there? Oatmeal Stout, which is mm. just called Oatmeal Stout. Okay. Cheers. Simple. In honor of our pal Jack, who is a baseball guy, we decided let's do some talk about baseball today. And... Pretty much every local brewery has a baseball-themed beer. Yards has got the one with Kyle Schwarber. This one is from Attic Brewing Company. I'm with Concha Hocken Brewing Company. We do the Fransky in L.A., and we do the Ring the Bell uh, Pilsner. Uh, this is Second Sin, the Philly Fantasmic, uh, Funk Brewing, sec uh, yeah, Sly Fox, and I know we've been missed some, but it brings us to the relationship between baseball and beer, and we all picked our favorite baseball beer story for the day. So I'm going to go first because I'm going to tell you about a guy that you've never heard of that should be in the freaking Hall of Fame. His name is Chris Vander Ah. Who the hell is that? He is the guy who introduced beer and hot dogs to baseball. So here's the backstory: National League is formed in 1876. No Sunday baseball, no alcohol in the park. Very stuffy. That's like nothing fun is allowed. Some people wanted fun. Uh, so a Prussian beer garden owner named Chris Vander Ah founded the American Association in 1882. You follow all their stats? Every day. I bet you know half the players in the league. He's a real good baseball geek. <laughs> he did it as a counterpoint to the Stuffy National League. He started the St. Louis Brown Sox, which became the? The Cardinals. No, the St. Louis Browns and then the Orioles. I thought you knew your stuff. <sighs> anyway, he built a beer garden next to the ballpark. There were a lot of German immigrants in St. Louis at the time. They liked to relax at family-friendly beer gardens. You would get this. I love that. Right? Sit on the long benches yep. and down loggers and eat sausage. pretzels and yeah. sausage, right? So most of the American Association owners were also brewers or distillers. And the <laughs> thing became really popular all of a sudden. Low ticket prices. Sunday games. Working class people could come to these games. National League took notice of all this, realized something had to change. They basically bought up all the teams <laughs> and opened the taps at the ball games. By the way, as I said, beer wasn't his only innovation. He was the first to sell hot dogs at games, a German tradition. They were first called Dachshunds. Nobody could spell Dachshunds. Ah, ah. So they started calling them hot dogs. So let us toast to Chris Vander Ah. He should be in the Hall of Fame. All right. Bless him. What do you got? Well, I'm pretty much an anarchist at heart, so my favorite beer and, and baseball story is Ten Cent Beer Night in Cleveland. Oh, I remember Yeah, the riot. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Texas Rangers come to Cleveland in June of 74 for Ten Cent Beer Night. Now, the usual price was only 65 cents. Yeah, well, hey. But, uh, which, which would be about four bucks today. Yeah. What the heck happened? Um, by the third inning... Fans were stripping off their clothes and running on the field, openly smoking weed in the stands, throwing firecrackers around. By the seventh inning, families had left. Yeah. I, I'm surprised it took that long. In the bottom of the ninth, I, and I still can't believe they were still playing, Cleveland manages to tie the game up, and a fan runs on the field and tries to steal a Texas outfielder's cap. 
in the Billy Sample, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, I, I think it recall. was. Yeah. So it looks like he gets knocked over, mm -hmm. and the Texas manager Billy Martin yep. leads his team onto the field with bats to defend their guy. <laughs> Two hundred fans come down on the field with knives and chains and broken chairs. The Cleveland manager's like, we got to save these guys' lives. Orders his squad on the field with bats to defend them. Wow. Yeah. They struggle back, get make it to the clubhouse, lock the doors. The Cleveland police finally show up. Riot ends in about half an hour. Sure. Okay. 70 seemed like an insane time. I got to be it honest was, with every, you. Every, oh, yeah. It was all yeah. wide open. Little all right. in the 2000s. All right, so yours, you've got a legend that I may or may not be true. Yeah, so, I mean, come closer, gather around. We know about all the tall tales, right? You know, people talk about Paul Bunyan. Mm -hmm. They talk about, you know, all these great kind of fibs. That I think people mostly believe. And then there's Wade Boggs <laughs> drinking 107 beers <laughs> in a cross-country flight. Mm -hmm. Now, if they are light beer, you, you, could, you could put down a lot of them. I mean, Wade Boggs seems like... 12 ounces. It seems like a beer enthusiast. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is one of the, the most tall tale legends, I would say, in the history of baseball. It came out first. It was like, yeah, 60 beers. No. 60 beers. <laughs> and, and I believe it was like a six and a half hour flight from that point from Boston to, to yeah. California because there was no national, or there was no interleague baseball yet. Right. So that wasn't until 97. So it had to be the Californ California Angels. It was between a six and a half hour flight and a seven hour flight. Ooh. And the legend is that Wade Box, a Hall of Famer, tried to go in as a Ray, which is still a sham, but regardless. So 107 beers. So that would, that's basically the math is a seven, and a half, seven hour flight. And it's like 17, 16, 17 beers an hour. It's a beer every four minutes. Yeah, so if you didn't want to die, like, according to scientists, right? Because scientists oh. had to get involved. Science, yeah. Right. He basically drank himself. To, if he drank 107, which I believe, I stand with Wade Boggs. If he drank 107 <laughs> beers, he would have died. He would have died five times yeah. in, 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 yeah. in one flight. So... Yeah. He's a legend, he's a Hall of Famer, and it's my favorite beer in baseball. Right. So wow. to, to Wade Boggs, to, Wade Boggs. And to Rusty Torres, to Chris Vanderai, we toast all of you. Legends. Yes. When we get back, our 50-state beer tour continues with some pretty hefty stuff from out west. You're not going to want to miss it. We're at Four Fingers Brewing in Aston. What's brewing? Park is free! <laughs> hey! Four bucks! Yes! With so many affordable things to do in Montgomery County, PA, go ahead, free out. Hey, welcome back to What's Brewing with the Four Fingers Brewing Company, Aston Mill Rose and Aston Later. We'll explain to you how this place got its name, which is a good story. Uh, and remember, we're in Del Delaware County. Delco, hello, where I go. live. Check out visitdelcopa.com for all kinds of good stuff. We've been doing all season long, Lou Bryson, our 50-state beer tour. We have now secured beers from all 50 states. Plus? Plus Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. Beautiful. So we're doing it, man. And big thanks to Jim Martin, Lower Marion Beverage Company, who's come through yeah. with a lot of these. Visit Lower Marion Beverage Company in Ardmore, 10% off any of the beers we're discussing on the air. So today, we wanted to go... It's a couple of hefty brews. Yep. And we are starting with one out of Nebraska that was hard it's to find. <laughs> this is Black Betty Imperial Stout. Whoa, Black Betty. Okay, good. Yeah. We had to do that. Had Let's to. pour some of that. Here's what it says from their website. Black as night and every bit Imperial. This uh, was originally wow, launched to tremendous accolades. Aged in whiskey barrels. Meshes the rich chocolates and coffee-like aromatics, the sweet whiskey nose and drying character of the oak. 10.6%. I talked to the brewer about this. They go to some pains to make sure they are fresh, wet whiskey barrels. Okay. Oh, oh I smell you can whiskey. smell that right oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a winner. Yeah. And it definitely the chocolate. Wow. Yeah, there's a wow. lot going on. I, this, is, this is some... Hey... Omaha, Nebraska. Who would have thought? Bless. All right, let's give it a score. I, I like it. I'm going with a 90. I, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm going to go 92 just 92. because. 92. Hello. Good. Black Betty. Beautiful. We can like it, too. Yes, and um, everybody sings the song. Yeah. All right, next, let us visit the fine uh, state of New Mexico. 
You ever been to New Mexico? I have. I have it been. is the land of enchantment. It is, hello. This is the Lacumbre Brewing Gilded Age Porter. From Another Albuquerque. beautiful can, by the yeah, way. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I poured you a ah, lot of sorry. foam there. Uh, Harkening back to a time when pale malts had not even been created, our dark, deep porter is rich, but balanced, immensely chocolatey. Uh, but it, by the way, this one's just five per seven percent, so this is not an imperial. This no, is more of an approachable no. beer. Me, yeah. I mean, you know what? You lead with this. I know that's the. And that's then, the thing. then you go to this, and Everything it's like, yeah, eclipsed. okay, big deal. Seventy. <clears throat> yeah, seventy-five. Okay. Yeah. There you go. I would have liked you as a teacher. You're a nice grader. <laughs> uh, very difficult to find. We thank some friends for finding us beer from Arkansas, Arkansas. I just came from Arkansas. <laughs> this is, you know that song? I don't know uh, that song. Okay, well, there you go. This is Ozark Beer Company BDCS 2023. What does BDCS stand for? Bourbon aged, well, why is it a D? It's Arkansas. It's Arkansas. Bur don't, don't ask. <laughs> Bourbon aged Cream stout. Now, no, that's I different. love it. Holy cow, it's motor oil. Whoa! What? <laughs> cream? Oh, cream stout. Right. Whoa. Wow, this, look at the foam this on is that. Like, this is like the darkest beer I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. This is black. Nope. This is... I'm holding this up to the, to this the is stream lights. Yes, we're getting nothing. 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 This is... I mean, look at... The, they put a lot Ooh. of work into the design of the can, <laughs> clearly. They did let you know it was black. Uh, it's a once-a-year batch aged for, in wow. seven to 14-year-old Kentucky bourbon <sighs> barrels... Again, plenty of barrel there. Yeah, that's a strong beer, man. This is this is uh, 11 p.m. sitting by the fireplace, right? Petting the cat or the dog in your case, right? Reading yeah. a book, yeah. being unconscious. Eventually, yeah. And not too eventually either. All right, all right. What do you go on this? I'm going an 85 on this one. Okay, I'm I'm going an 80. All right, and finally, from Nevada, you from got Nevada this one. Nevada of all yeah. things. <laughs> Lead dog peanut butter stout. Okay, let's go with it. Okay, it's, um, from, it's from Sparks, Nevada, outside of Reno. Okay. I've been to Reno in my life. And that's a pretty cool label too. The uh, yeah, the stabbed peanut. Yeah, sure. <laughs> a wow. bleeding peanut. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey man, put a little See, jelly and fluff in here. This you is say, the well, thing. Ooh, what is that? So I looked into this because where did all these peanut butter beers come from? It's this stuff. It's dried powdered peanut. It has. 70% of the it's fat it. taken out. You can't make a sandwich out of it. Just this. don't start snorting it. That's why. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's peanut butter. Oh, I like it. Wow, yeah. Oh, I'm a fan. Ooh, yeah. All right, so this peanut butter stout tastes like peanut butter. You know, this reminds me of that apocryphal book review of Abe Lincoln. If this is the kind of thing you like, you will like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I like it. Because I like peanut butter. And yeah, it, and I mean, it's, 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 it is well done. I'm going 84. I'll go 80. Okay. Yeah. So the winner today, mm. and really one of our Walking favorites away. so far. You know, I'm raising my score. I liked it better. I'm going 94. So it gets a 93, which puts it in the top four or five overall. Nebraska, you have done well with... Whoa! Black Betty! Front. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Enough of that. Enough of that. When we get back, the latest winner of our photo contest, and we'll tell you about some fun things to do right here in Delco. We're at the Four Fingers Brewing Company on Aston Mill Roads in Aston. Lou Bryce and Glenn Mack now drinking some good beer on What's Brewing. Whether you're lounging at the beach, exploring the Swarthmore scene, or kicking back in our Lynn Villa Beer Garden, Ship Bottom Brewery brings the beach to you. We're thrilled to call LBI our home where we've crafted award-winning beers perfect for our beloved locals, surfers, and seasonal beach visitors. Our refreshing brews are a year-round beach party, thriving in the summer heat and welcoming chilly winters with open arms. These island beers are perfect for every season and making every sip a mini vacation. Ship Bottom Brewery, where the sun-kissed season never ends and the ice-cold pours are an experience you'll savor long after you've left the island. Hi, Mom. We're in Bucks County together, and it's exactly what we needed. I can't believe you pulled this off. A surprise getaway to a place that feels refreshing. And it was so easy to get here. 
were doing all the things he had planned and things he didn't plan. I'll tell you more about it when we get home. You and Dad need to come. You'd love it here. Welcome back to What's Brewing. We're at Four Fingers Brewing Company in Aston. Really fun place, really nice beers. Partner Jack Fritz of WIP. So you come here, he'll talk your ear off as he does every day on the radio from 2 to 6. He's good at that. Uh, host the show with Ike Reese and Spike Eskin. It's really the Jack Fritz show. We know that. Uh, Lou Bryson, of course, is my partner. This guy, Rob McPherson, we'll get to him in a second. But first, it is time to talk about our photo contest that we've been doing all year, Lou. And, of course, we ask you each week to submit photos of a specific theme. The winners get to come to our party, which is coming up May 8th at Puddler's Kitchen and Tap in Bridgeport. You'll be there, Lou. Coming along. Yes, I'll I be will. There. Hey, yes, you're I will. invited. Absolutely. I'm, Absolutely. I'm in. Yeah. Sounds great. Can you go to Bridgeport? It's in uh, it's, it's in <laughs> it's Montgomery County. The county. Are you allowed? I, like, I can, uh, they're allowed? You don't, you don't have a, like a thing allowed. that buzzes when you leave <laughs> Delco? <laughs> like an invisible fence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We asked you uh, recently for the best picture of beer. You enjoying beer with a great meal. And Lou, I got to be honest, we got fewer of these than I thought we would. Let me give you the winners. Here's some photos. I don't have any like that. Yeah, well, and I'll, I'll give you the winners. This is Pete Carrilla. Enjoying a family feast with a really nice beer. His kids are drinking wine. We won't hold that against them. It's a beautiful room there in there, by the way. This is Chuck Jennings. I like this picture. I'll tell you why. First of all, it's chicken off the smoker. So he's doing his own chicken. Very nice. It's onion rings. And I think I've told you, I'm a sucker for onion rings. It's, he it's did like, his own onion it, rings? It is like my, yeah. It's, wow. It, onion rings like my favorite food. And he's a home brewer. And we support home brewers. Yeah. So, Chuck, you're invited. And finally, this is Hobbs and Wife. Uh, drinking Pliny the Elder in Sonoma. She's got nice fish and wine. He's got beer, and if you look closely, it's like the smallest steak I've ever seen. <laughs> I hope you didn't pay a lot for that. <laughs> All right, this week's ask, and it's an easy one. Beer and baseball. You drinking beer at a Phillies game or a, any baseball game, uh, playing, drinking a beer while playing wiffle ball, playing baseball, the theme is beer and baseball. So wiffle ball, Bring softball it. counts, just to be clear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Anything good. with a ball, a bat, and yeah, a beer. Yeah. That's it. The three Bs have to happen. <laughs> Send them to social media. At Real Glenn Macnow on Twitter. Glenn Macnow at Lou Bryson, L-E-W. Uh, or at the show at, uh, what's Brewing, at What's Brewing PA. We know what this is. All this right, is this guy. Rob McPherson, uh, Executive VP, Chief Officer of Visit Delco. The website is Visit Delco PA. The visit DelcoPA.com. All right, what are you yep. drinking? I'm drinking a little Jack juice in, in uh, tribute to our friend Jack Fritz and his Very nice. establishment. Right. Yeah. So let's talk about the weather is getting warm. Mm -hmm. Opportunities are there. My favorite treasure in Delco, and I've been going there since my kids were little kids, and now my kids are dads, mm -hmm. is Linvilla Orchards. You can't beat it, right? Especially tell this me. time of year. Yeah. Um, well, mm. first of all, while we're having a libation here, we might as well talk about Ship Bottom set up out there, right? Yep. They've got a a nice little um, beer garden out there. Um, we did a show there, Lou. We yeah. had a great time. Did you? Yeah. That's that was our great, great, great spot. Yep. Great spot. Yeah. So um, now one of the big highlights coming up over there is on June 1st, they have their Strawberry Festival. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, Delco Strawberry time frame in June is, a fa is fabulous. And, and they do it. Nobody does it better than Lamilla. So I would definitely want to check that out if I were wandering around Delco in, in that June time frame. Otherwise, you know, Lynn Villa is so much to so many people with so much going on. It's almost like you don't even want to worry about, like, sort of, why should I go? Just go. Just yeah. go. Just go and get involved. It's <laughs> yeah, a great it'll spot. Happen. It's a great spot. Yeah. Lou, I know you're a sucker for the grist mill. I know. I feel weird <laughs> saying it, but I don't because I really am. The Newland Grist Mill. And, and it's, I mean, so I live in Milheim. Okay. Maybe yeah. it was predestined. But um, I just think it's really cool when these old, because they actually mill grain there. It's, it's a neat spot, yeah. yeah. So it, it's, it's been there since 1704, 160-acre um, wow. park. The, 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 yeah, the, the mill still can, do, can mill, right? Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. And they, um, you know, for families who want to get out and about in Delaware County in this time of year, um, like I said, 160-acre park. It's a great place to introduce fishing to, mm -hmm. to a youngster because they've got a little pond there that they stock all the time. Um, you can hike there. You can do, you know, a variety of different things there. They have candle making. 
Um, oh. It's just a really neat spot. Matter of fact, a lot of movies have been shot there that have been shot in Delaware County. I was there for a meeting recently, and um, there were movie scouts wandering around the spot just trying to figure it out. So cool. it's, a, it's a neat spot. Extra, at least. Uh, <laughs> gonna, you know, if I have a few more of these, maybe right. I'll be able to work walk my way in. All right. yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things, arts, gardens, so on. Uh, trails. It is. There are a lot of great walking, hiking trails in Delaware County. A lot of great ones. So there's 40 trails in Delaware County uh, with more to come. Um, and you oh. can, um, nice. yeah, our website will, will show you the 40 that you can go check out. And within our website, we've got a trail maker, um, Delco Trail Mix, um, kind of, yeah, we call it the trail mix. Uh, mm -hmm. So basically, it gives you the opportunity to enter the criteria for the kind of trail you want, the distance. Do you want restrooms? Is it dog friendly? What kind of trail? Do you want paved or do you want a rugged trail? You enter the, that criteria in, it does all the work for you. It tells you which trails match up with what you're looking for. Um, and then you can come and kind of go visit those trails individually on their own websites and decide what kind of trip you want to have. So I love it's it. a great, great functionality. All right, visit DelcoPA.com. All kinds of fun things going on there, including, and we'll get to this in a future episode, breweries, yeah. distilleries, mm. wineries, all that good stuff. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys. Cheers. All right, we'll be back. We're going to talk to Jack Fritz, uh, who is the, uh, the sky on, ski on, whatever the word is I'm looking for, son of the owner here, but he's the brains of the operation. We'll find out what's going on at Four Fingers Brewing next on What's Brewing. Hey, Glenn, what brings you into our King of Prussia tap room today? Well, Andrew, I'm meeting a few friends for a beer before our big event tonight. King of Prussia is the perfect location. Yes, indeed. Contract and Brewing's four spots are all great for any event. Big plans for tomorrow? I'm going to enjoy happy hour at the rec room in Phoenixville before some rousing games of ping pong and shuffleboard with the family. Oh, you can't be the rec room when it comes to food and fun for the whole family. How about this weekend? Saturday, I'm riding my bike along the Schuylkill River Trail before stopping at Conchi Tap Room for some post-ride refreshments. Ah, it's a great idea. Our original Conchi Tap Room at mile marker 12 and a half is the go-to spot for locals, visitors, anybody looking to quench their thirst. And I've got Sunday covered. We're going to enjoy lunch at Puddler's Kitchen and Tap in Bridgeport, then go outside for a few cold ones at the beer garden, then back in to enjoy the ball game. What a week in all of Conchac and Brewing's unique spots. I'll meet you there for a pint or two. Cheers. Welcome back to What's Brewing uh, with Lou Bryson. I'm Glenn Mackin. We're at Four Fingers Brewing Company in Aston. I'm enjoying a De Crema West Coast IPA. This is a tasty beer. Jack Fritz, our pal from WIP. Uh, turns out that Jack and his father run this place, Four Fingers Brewing. And so let's just start a little bit with the origin story because I remember you came to me years ago and you were thinking of doing it. Mm. How did this come to be? Well, it's a beautiful, touching story of a father son. No, I'm just kidding. It was. It, it is. It, it is. It is. But uh, it's so. How it really started is I went to college, and I got into craft beer. Now most people in college they go for the cheap beer. Yeah. And while I was, I drank a lot of Jenny Cream in college. Oh Listen, yeah. Nine ninety nine still when I was there. Wow. Steel. Good price. But uh, you know I went to college and I started getting into IPAs, and my dad, the 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 simple man he was, mm -hmm. still drank light beer. Yeah, and he used to make fun of me mm. for for liking craft beer. So he started drinking it, sneaking it in. Frankly, like when I went back to college, yeah, beer. just sneaking it in, like oh, taking your stash. Yeah, because he used to make fun of me. Uh -huh. And then and then when I got back from college, he's <laughs> he's like, you know what? Pretty good. It's it's pretty good. This whole beer, craft beer stuff. So started home brewing. Uh, got pretty nice. good at it. Yeah, when he did. He started home brewing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's ridiculous. You've had your revenge. Exactly right. Yeah. I won. But he, he started home brewing. We had, uh, we had the building over here. No one was really coming in the middle. It used to be an old bar here in mm -hmm. Delco. And it was like, hey, do you, you love beer. I like making beer. We both love beer. Why not open our The building own place? existed. Let's do it. And here we are. Okay, so I got to ask, Four Fingers? Four fingers. So, because your website's a little elliptical about it. For sure. Yeah, we, we beat around the bush a little okay. bit when it comes to the four fingers. So. The first story is <laughs> the first story about four fingers is when I was about eight, we, we used to chop our own wood, and uh, the log splitter it slipped, and uh -oh. in went my in went my dad's hand. Oh! And that's how 
Okay. We got to the oh, forefinger. Wait, that's the first story? Well, the first story is that. Wait, we're looking at a picture of his hand right now. It's yeah. Okay. It's yeah. Okay. Well, it's not really. It's four it's plus. It's totally off. Yeah, it's like yeah. four and a half, but so that wouldn't that sound as good. Off the tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four and a half yeah. finger didn't go. The weirdest that. part about the whole thing? There's no blood. What? what? There's no blood. I know. I don't know how to explain it. You're going to have to ask someone else that. Wow. But there's no that? blood. It's pretty much as simple as. We thought it sounded good. I like okay. it. And, yeah. and listen, you guys make good beer. This High Hopes beer is really good. We really have enjoyed that. And this Decrema that I'm drinking is really nice. One beer West that Coast I'm drinking IPA. is really yeah, good. And by the way... You can have you, more than one beer. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's just the name. Uh, if you get food, there's a, there's a shop a couple, blocks, a couple stores away, excuse me. Yes, so it's Mambrosos. Mambrosos to go. Okay. If you ever come here and are looking for food, I know we don't have currently on the menu... You can always order from Mambrozos. They have fantastic nice. food, and uh, they'll take care of it. That's very nice. But you do have all kinds of fun events, including, and I'm so upset, I gave all of my vinyl records to my son. Many I, people have. I know, <laughs> and he uses them, but I could have brought them here, right? You could have brought them here. So we have a vinyl record player. Vinyl is, is in right now. I was actually just looking at it. Mm -hmm. There's an old Eagles album over there. Ooh, there's, sweet. There's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. So oh, oh, Elton John. Some, some yeah. great, great stuff. You don't have and Black Betty, do you? I know Black Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we were singing that before. We should have played yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, we, uh -huh. we should have played it. It would have been better. <laughs> I, no, no, you guys sounded beautiful. <laughs> You're all right. You really did. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to do more than that, I spy in the corner a microphone and a guitar. So if you ever want to come down and sing. You know I sing. I mean, you just sang Black Betty. It I, was well, beautiful. you know I've sung on stage. I can <laughs> I, sing. So we do have open mic Fridays. Uh, we have, we've had some bluegrass bands come in. calendar. I may be available. Yeah. <laughs> well, not this week, but I'll, I'll come down and sing. Listen, uh, your, your calendar's about to free up, pal. I mean, Ooh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. For those who haven't heard, I am retiring from WIP in July. Jack rubbing his hands in delight. <laughs> The opportunity, but you're doing the afternoon shows now with Spike and Ike, and it's, listen, off to a great start. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great show. We have a lot of fun. Anyway, open mic night. Open mic night. So we have, uh, if you want to come Friday nights, we do have some bands that are playing, but they're always welcome to bring anyone else on stage. So if you're looking to show your stuff, I mean, I don't know if the, the, the name will take off, but Delco's Got Talent. <laughs> you, think, you think that'll go well? I, I, think, I like before. that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very I, original <laughs> idea. As always. So, and, and you've got yes. a beer garden, too, right? We've got a nice beer garden in the back. So we've just got a nice gazebo. So if you Ooh. want to go out there, we have some fire pits. If you, you know, don't burn yourself up. But No, but no, it, that'd be bad. Yeah, we got some fire pits back there. So but it's, you could probably get a good name for a brewery for, out of something like that. Exactly right. <laughs> the, the, our second location is yes. Burn Marks. Yes. All right, Four Fingers Brewing Company. Four Fingers Brewing Company, is that what yes, it's called? Yes, Four okay. Fingers Brewing there Company. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Aston Mill Roads in Aston, Great beer. We really enjoyed the beer. Yeah. Fine pizza from next door. Open mic night, album night, all kinds of fun stuff. And I assume every once in a while I find you behind the bar. You can tell all those engaging stories. For sure. I will, I will be here. There you go. He's Jack Fritz. Lou Bryson. Hey, Lou, I'll see you next week. Yep. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We will see you next week on What's Brewing. What's Brewing is brought to you in part by Monco Maker's Passport. Download your free digital pass and sip your way through Montgomery County by the Conshohocken Brewing Company, featuring four locations and available at beer retailers throughout the tri-state area. By Visit Bucks County, travel the Bucks County Ale Trail. Get your passport at visitbuckscounty.com. And Ship Bottom Brewery, brewed for the beach and everything else. Locations in Beach Haven, Swarthmore, and Atlin Villa Orchards. Thank you.